Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of The Hospital, the most popular game on Itch.io currently. We'll see about that. Dude, this is the first time you've ever seen me on this side, huh? Ooh, spooky. Best experience with headphones. I really hope this game is much better than the last one. And by last one, I mean the last most popular game on Itch.io. How's that look for you guys? Hopefully better than mine. Ew, look at my feet. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who only got mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wrecks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition deteriorated further. <laughs> Not funny, I'm sorry. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to go. Dying alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in any of those fairy tales. What a hot take. I wonder what happens to a person when they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. <laughs> really philosophical in your uh, final days, huh? I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Um, if they put you under and they intubate you, you wouldn't know when you died. You just kind of fade away. You're not awake for that. I know that's not <laughs> much better, but... Oh shit, we're up. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint! Walk around using the WAS keys. Look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. Hint! The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Okay, so, damn. Not much in your private hospital room, eh? They don't even give you bed sheets. My bed? It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of my room looks neat, too. As if this room was recently vacated. You died. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Um, that's what your hospital ba bed made looks like, dude? I don't think so. They even got you Trendelenburg out here. <laughs> they got your feet up, dude. Nice. That looks exactly like one of the EKG machines. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> it's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses looking me up to this thing. Hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. The hiss of pumping oxygen. This thing has oxygen? It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. Wow, it's your first time in a hospital, eh? This thing has oxygen, huh? This must be one of those, uh... Auto condenser types. Bathroom doors appear to be locked. Ah! Spooky lady. That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out how I'm up. Ah, damn. This sensitivity's kind of high. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were abuzz with activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's dead silent now. Unnerving. Um, that's, uh, that's his in-head voice. 
Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology. Obstret obstetrics. Radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see a thing through them. I feel like that's how most hospitals are. Why would they have easily see-through windows? Okay. Well, not much use, are you? What about this? No idea. <laughs> okay. So that's green, so let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. How long ago did you check in? Sealed. Just like the others. Cool. So the green door is the only way forward. So we're gonna go over there. This is not a nurse's station. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing paperwork, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Nurses do not welcome patients. <laughs> Listen, give me a call. I'll tell you how hospitals work. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Something scary's gonna happen. Go find her. We gotta get to her. She's the doctor. <laughs> nice. They don't have these in hospital hallways, by the way. The last thing any hospital wants is some fucking family members just hanging out in the hallway. <laughs> Pro tip. Nurses don't like you. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Hmm, I don't think anybody knows what's going on in a hospital. Not even doctors. <laughs> doctors show up and they're just like, what the fuck? What? Someone on the other side of this door? This room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. Yeah, no, doctors fucking can't stand. They just come into work and everything's on fire. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. That figure. That sound came from out there. Let's go. I saw something on that TV. A figure silhouetted against noise. It reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. The ring? Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while lying in bed in some kind of coma. Yeah, I think they've got you innovated. And you're forever stuck. That's like the scariest thing ever, by the way. Is being put into an induced coma and just dreaming. Someone should make a game about that. Lady. I need you to stop running away from me. Flashing light warning, by the way. It's not that bad, but... Still pretty bad. It's locked. Who shut the door? The body in there. A corpse. If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. I know. It sure is. I don't think I'll ever be in any type of danger in this game. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. There she is, get her! No, I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here and watch her leave. It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? You know, I've noticed my, my shift key's, like, stuck. 
and when I push it down, this is a brand new keyboard, so no, it's not sticky, but like right now it's fine. See? No, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. I'm trying to show people stuff. <laughs> so dumb. Hey. What's up? Just stumbling across the hospital. What? How? Is that you? How did I get here? How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, this is a, this is a visual novel. Nia, is that you? That familiar silence. This cannot be happening. This is a monstrous dream. Memories of these horrific events of four years ago are coming back. Uh, uh, <laughs> the doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Did you kill her? Could I have saved her life and I and done had I done things differently? And at what cost? No, I'm just gonna accept that I couldn't have saved you. Only cold science. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Only cold silence. What does she want? I think she wants your soul. Nia? Did I... Did that really happen? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seeded by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma on a hospital bed? <laughs> Damn, dude, just giving out all the answers, huh? Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just, af just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of, oh god, of the mental illness that would later consume her. Now I feel bad for laughing. Erratic violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to help. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats, and finally, I woke up one night to find her, standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin, and when I saw what she was holding in her hand... <sighs> um, damn. Self-harm, all these things. That's kind of messed up. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. Not a funny joke. True story. Get out of there, guys. And women. Get out of that relationship. Leave it. <laughs> Disappear. It's fine. You'll be better off. They won't, but fuck that. What is this place? I think it's a hospital. The same one, just... I guess dilapidated. Look, it's a corpse. The corpse is gonna get me. Fine. A dead body. <laughs> Abandoned in this corridor. The stench here is terrible. I should move on. True that, dude. It's gonna be locked and I'm gonna have to turn around. <laughs> She's doing this. I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Well, the door is open, so... Hey, what's up, Nia? Oh, it's quiet in here. That was kind of cute. <laughs> Damn. Not much to do in this game but walk, huh? I feel like... We're, um... I don't know, if we were recovered, we should be able to run, right? 
No, this time you're f I'm gonna fucking find you. You. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, whew, grappled the blade away and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later, letter, I got that terrible call. Wow. You should 100% sue that mental hospital. <laughs> ah! Where did she get a rope in a mental hospital? Have you ever been in one? Nia. Oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you'd written on the note you left your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? <laughs> Her final words were like, ja, 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 ja. She was Hispanic. Okay. Let's see. What is she, what is she gonna tell us here? Hello. Nia, what do you want from me? I think of that note you left. The last words you ever wrote. Oh, fuck. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know these, those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. That bitch is fast. But also predictable. I would have fucking like whoosh. <laughs> sent her flying Steven Seagal style. I, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. No, don't. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital, smiling faces, telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls, hunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? <laughs> or am I dead, and is this my afterlife? these dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity let's find out oh i'll never find out wow okay that was the hospital let me go back to my comfortable side special thanks to these people yeah final thoughts not really much to it it's just a fun little jump scare game this story is a little uh <laughs> It's a little much, you know. <laughs> like it's it's kind of cliched, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's cliched enough that it makes me laugh because I've I feel like I've played this game a million and one times. But yeah, some of the scares were effective. They were effective because they worked. Does that mean that I'll give them full credit? No. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, you guys are having a much better time than me. By the time you've seen this, I've already been in Costa Rica for three days. Probably just dreading the heat, looking at what could have been had I stayed at home. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my content, consider hitting the uh, subscribe button and following me on Twitch. Or I currently don't stream because I'm in Costa Rica, but I will a week after this. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you.